Hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my name is Professor Stephen Laroloto from International Christian Association. Please join me on every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important that yes, you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. It shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you. Wonderful story of love. The love of our Lord Jesus Christ towards humanity who came to teach us the will of God more and more and who sealed it by his death at the cross of Calvary. This is the reason why we are here again today. I want to say good morning to everyone in the morning time and the afternoon. Good afternoon. If your time is in the evening, good evening to everyone. I pray that God will bless you Amen. richly in Jesus' name. Amen. That your day shall be unto glory, unto joy, unto peace in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You know, 24 hours make a day. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, you will not fall into trouble in any minute you are going through in Jesus' name. Amen. Joy of the Lord shall multiply over your life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. You will not die by the wall of men Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I pray for someone today that you shall be a, you know, a winner of that battle. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Grace will multiply in your life. Amen. By the power in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Yeah, that's your heart desire that is making you weep. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ, you will receive it. Amen. And breakthrough will come your way. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. You will not lose the kingdom of God. The Amen. word of God will multiply Amen. around you in your heart, Amen. in your life, in the name of Jesus Amen. Christ. As we have come today, shall be the beginning of a new thing, a new dawn, Amen. a new miracle Amen. for your life in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Once again, you are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. And this is the National Christian Association, as you have it on the screen. International Christian Association. To those who have been part of us, we do tell you, this is not a church program. Far from me, it. it's a ministry, an assignment, you know, for um, God give to us to go and talk about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. And much more that we want us to emphasize on the fact that there are things God expected from us as women to do if we want to enter to that place called Heavenly Kingdom, where we are aspiring to get to every day. To those who want to get to that place, there are requirements that you want us to follow, to abide with, to go through in order for us to get to that kingdom of God. It's not, you know, uh, 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 it's not bread and butter we eat. It's not that attire we put on, not even our position that we, you know, we talk about, not the riches of, you know, or being worthy that matters to God regarding what we need to do to enter into the kingdom of God. Mm -hmm. But primarily he's saying there are some things, laid down principle that as we go on, maybe you know that, yes, I belong to this part, I don't belong to this part. And it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. If you want Amen. to know how far we have gone, why don't you visit YouTube and search for Prophet Oloto. You will see almost everything. We'll be talking about the kingdom of God, what we need to do our way towards the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. As when the studio Amen. now, we are on Facebook. Why don't you share with somebody to know more about what the kingdom of God expects for man? Hallelujah. This message is becoming too scarce. Even when people talk about it, the, it's as if the changes is fading away from our society. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. And the Lord will bless us as you join, you share with somebody. 
And if I, if I eventually have somebody in Nigeria, Africa, you want him to be part of this program or her, tell her or him to join us on Legend Platform TV on subscription. As from the studio now, they are on too, to pick us to the world to hear what God is saying about the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Why don't you make up to somebody around you? Father, now, thank God for technology. It doesn't matter how far that person is now. You can tell him now how to join us on Legend, I mean, Faith World TV on Sky Channel 588. Faith World TV Channel Sky 588. That person will be able to, you know, let him come with this our Bible so that we can enter into the Word of God together. That is the assignment that we make to know the Word of God. What is saying? What does it mean to us? Hallelujah. Amen. And it shall be well with us as we do so in Jesus' name. Amen. Once again, we are welcome in Jesus' name. Amen. Yes, uh, our retreat again, IC International Christian Association Retreat, is coming back, you know, in October again this year. We normally have it twice, May and October every year. What do we do? We chill out, we come back for three days, and we teach ourselves, we hang ourselves under the, you know, the, the hand call of the Holy Spirit to know more about God, to have more about Him, in order for us to walk in Him, to enjoy Him more. As it will come up between the 20th of October to 22nd of October, Friday, 20th, you know, 20th of uh, October to 22nd of October. And uh, by the grace of God, by next week, I uh, should be able to bring more about the information so that anybody who wants to be part of that program, yeah, to be in a Zoom at this time, can be part of it to enjoy what God is even having for his people at this particular time. And it shall be well with us in Jesus. It's a, it's a time to chill out with God in our mind, oneness, or you know, like the upper room, in the experience where people come together to know more. We share the bread of, of the word. It's not about church, like I said. It's about coming together, knowing the mind of God together, and walking that mind towards the kingdom of God to come. And it shall be well with us as we pray. If you, you know, just keep praying with us for that program. God, have your way. Open heaven to us. Let us be able to enter you know, into your realm, that, that period, so that we can be blessed. Let it be your prayer towards that program. And it shall be well with us in Jesus' name. If adventure you want to speak to me over whatever, we have our you know, phone number on the screen. As the program goes by, we see almost everything. And it shall be well with us in Jesus as we are come today. And my name is Prophet Stimula Oyotu. And the same man of God will be coming. We are here together. No other person than evangelist. Raphael Amata Rajibuye, God bless you, sir. Amen. For another glorious time, wonderful time before the Almighty God Amen. to come and stand in God for the, you know, for the word of God that they wanted for this generation where we are now. And before we go on, uh, can I ask the man of God to lead us to prayer for a minute? Father, you are the Lord. Yes. No one like you. Thank you, Lord, for this hour. Yes. We ask you to manifest your greatness today. Yes, Lord. Upon what you want to say in yes. this place today. Yes. To every mankind. Yes. And let honor and glory be unto you. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. 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 You know, Messiah is the King of King. Messiah is the Lord of God. Messiah is the King of King. Messiah is the Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus, 
King Jesus is the King of King forever and ever. King Jesus is the Lord, 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 King over all other kings. King Jesus is the King of kings forevermore. King Jesus is the Lord of Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Once again, we are welcome to another bright day before the Lord, a day of the Lord, a day of the mind of the Lord, a day of the word of God to his people. What are we having again today for the people of God? It's no other word I'll be talking about, the school of life that God gave to man in the beginning that we lost the devil that God still wants to bring us back to. He wants us to come back to that same realm in our journey of life every day. But thank God for Jesus Christ who had brought us back to that position that God wanted us to stand for, to stand with, to stand by, to stand in, to do what he wants us to do. Jesus Christ now opened our eyes, our mind, in our mind to understand more about what God expected from man. When he died on the cross of Calvary, he sealed everything he has taught man. He sealed up by that terrible death on the cross. Hallelujah. Amen. And for a while now, we'll be talking about what God said, the mind of the Lord, towards his people, heirs of Abraham. And we'll be talking about who are these people that God was talking about, Christians and Islamic religion. God made me to understand that all he wanted for man is his will to be done. It doesn't matter your religion. It doesn't matter what you believe in. That the moment you pass through the mind, the word of the Lord, you understand, you know where you should belong, you should stand. If you want to prove that you belong to God, you have God. It doesn't matter what you call yourself. I do tell people, God says, if you call yourself slave, if you call yourself son, if you call yourself daughter, if you say there's no God, he doesn't agree with you. But all he wants us to know is that he wanted some things from us. The moment you don't find yourself in those things he requires, it means you are not his. Then you cannot walk towards the kingdom of God. Hallelujah. Amen. That in the world, in the Lord he gave to us, he said, Thou shalt not serve another God with him. So if you are one of those who still have other gods around, you are not of God. You cannot share your mind yourself with you know, two masters. Hallelujah. Amen. And we spoke about all this, all this while, that the heirs of Abraham, you have everything in common, like you said. God said he doesn't want labasing, doesn't want cursing, doesn't want fighting, doesn't want all he wanted is the preaching of the gospel or the word of God. If you say you are a child of God, what does God want you to do? What does he expect from you? Supposed to be our message. I will be talking about this all this while. Why the way of Jesus Christ is the best? Why? We'll be talking about this too, that it is because he came to bring the mind of God on our table here on earth. The all that we are doing that, you know, we think is beautiful to God. It's not beautiful if you don't do it this way, if you don't do it this way, if you, do, you call yourself sons of Abraham and your ways are not right with God. He said, no, you cannot be. He came to teach us the mind of God from heaven. That was why his ways is the best to any other ways. Those he met before, I mean, before he came, and those after him, all the master before Jesus Christ, some of them, they, 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 they enter into one error. They find themselves in one error or the other. But Jesus Christ never found himself in any error. He didn't take any person's wife. 
doesn't kill anyone. He didn't instigate his followers against anybody, as we have around us today. That was why his, you know, his kingdom is was above, or is still above every other kingdom around man. Hallelujah. Amen. What is it that we are talking about today? Heaven or eternity? Heaven or eternity? And uh, somebody called me some weeks back to ask me a question. Maybe he said, I had a message and I didn't understand. He said, one man of God was asking, where was God? Where was him when he created heaven and earth? And the man of God said, God was not in heaven when God created heaven and earth. And he said, he's confused because the man said, God was in eternity. The man said, I am confused. I said, you cannot be confused. <laughs> the word of God is plain. You cannot be confused. Maybe that's, that is what man that man of god meant maybe that is something in his mind but as i was you know standing before the lord the holy spirit began to minister to me over the reason why i want to talk about where god was and what is heaven and what is eternity to man so that those who felt they are confused will not be confused about the word of god thank god for jesus christ when he was going he said, I will send a comforter to you. He's going to be a teacher. He will teach you. He said there are so many things he could not express to us, could not explain. But by the time the Holy Spirit will come, he will start to teach us, to talk to us. When we ask him, he will explain things to us. Hallelujah. Amen. And I believe that is what has happened for me to come up with this idea of where was God? as it has become an issue. Hallelujah. Amen. And I see, when I go into the dictionary what heaven means, I realize by the word of the Holy Spirit that, you know, heaven is a language. Written is a language that every, every, every communities, every nations, every towns, you know, has, you know, what they call everything around us today what they call everything around us today. The heaven that we talk about in my language, we call it all. So that people will have different languages for this same, you know, word, heaven, that we are using. We believe that it's the word of English that is heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said heaven is a place regarded in various religions as the abode of God or God's and the angels, and of the good after death, and of the good after death. So often traditionally depicted as being above the sky. Those who practice good deeds will receive the reward Amen. as of place in heaven. Amen. That is what heaven it's all about to the believers, to those who, who are religiously you know, inclined, who believe that God is in, is in a place. That is where we know to be a place where God dwells. And the, the same sentence says, eternity is endless life after death. Endless life after death or timeless place. Where there is no time, you don't you don't know that the time is is noon or is in the evening or is in the night or because everything is just the same, endless. You cannot say okay, I am uh, I am of this age there. Hallelujah, and he said that is what eternity and. Heaven needs to rise. Then how do we understand that question that they brought out and what the man of God was saying? Genesis chapter 1. Let's see what Genesis chapter 1. Genesis chapter 1, 
verse 1 to 5, what is saying to us? In the beginning, God created the heavens and the, and the earth. Yes. The earth was without form. In the beginning, and void. in the beginning, the Lord created heaven and earth. And that was what I believe the man of God was asking. Where was God when he created heaven and earth? And what to be, a lot of us want to believe that the book of Genesis was a book of the man of God called Moses. He was the one who brought about what we are reading. He was just reading to tell us that God was the one who created heaven and earth together. So it was not to say that God was somewhere. He didn't say to us that God created heaven and earth the same day. So which means God came down from heaven before he created the earth, if that is what you want to look at it. But it says in the beginning of the beginning, the beginning can be any time. God created heaven and earth. And as a matter of fact, the Bible didn't say to us that God created heaven and earth, you know, the same, the same day. It didn't say uh, earth was created the day God came down. But the two places were the works of the hands of the Lord. All we know, what does he say for that, sir? The earth was without form the and void. The earth was without form and void. And darkness was on the face of the deep. And darkness was around it. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the face of the And the Spirit of waters. God was over over the place. Which means that was what all about the earth then. The earth has been in existence before this time that Moses was talking about. All he was saying to was that heaven and earth were made by God. Hallelujah. Amen. And for us to go for that, let's see what Genesis chapter 11 Let's see what verse 1 to 7 is saying to us. For us to know that, yes, there are some things that happen in the Bible that we need the Spirit of God to explain, to express for us to understand that heaven has been created. Hallelujah. Before this man was talking. Don't forget how, how Lord took Moses. Abraham has gone, Isaac has gone, Jacob has gone, Joseph has gone before the time that so many people had gone before Moses was putting out all this. What does he say, sir? Now the whole earth, now the whole earth had one language. They had one language. And one speech. One speech. And it came to pass. And it came to pass. And they journeyed from the east. And as they were journeying from the east, that they found a plain in the land of Sinai. And they find a place in the land of Sinai. And they dwelt there. And they dwelt there. Then they said to one another. And they said to one another. Come. And the word that God gave to man was, go and multiply and take dominion of the world. as you no know, spread all over. And but now came up in one language, he said, Come, come, let us make bricks and uh, bake. Let us make bricks and bricks. And bake them truly. Let us bake them truly. They had brick for stone. And let's make them from stone. And they had as pearls yes. for mortar. Yes. And they said, And they said, Come, let us build our city. Let us city. build our seven city. And a tower. And a tower in that city. And let, us let us do against the mind of God, the word of God, the commandment of God that say we should spread. We don't want to spread. We want to form a city. They want to build a tower. What does it say for that? Whose top is in the heavens. Yes, that we reach the heavens. Let us make a name for ourselves. Let us make a name for ourselves. God has made name that he created heaven and earth. Let us do, let us create a city too and make a tower. Make name for ourselves. Let's be sac uh, uh, scattered abroad. Let's we be scattered abroad over the face of the earth. Hey, you don't want to scatter abroad all over the earth, Daddy. That is not our, our, our own mission. But the Lord came down. God to... has his own mission, but we have our own mission too. Then what happened thereafter? But the Lord came down. And the Lord now came down. To see the city and the to tower see which the, the sons of men have built. Where they have, you know, they've been building, where they've, you know, they have been resting, where they were living. They made business too. And the, Lord, 
And the Lord said, and the Lord said, indeed, indeed, the people are one. The people are one, and they all have one language. And they have one language. And this is what they begin to do. This is what oneness can make one to achieve. Now, nothing that they propose to do would be and there for is them. nothing that they propose that would be you with know you know with help for them that that they won't understand because they have the same mind. Come, let us go down. And God said, let us go down. And they have confused their language. From heaven, let us go down to the earth and confuse their language. That they may not understand one's, one another's that speech. That they may not understand one another's speech. Hallelujah. Amen. And since then, we have different languages and speech. Languages all over the world. They are in the Bible. That since then, they cannot hear themselves anymore. That is why if you don't send your son or your daughter to school now, you might not understand many languages around the world. Hallelujah. Amen. But heaven as a language will be different to any other language. Referring to this same place. Why eternity will be different in any language, you know, all over the world, too. Hallelujah. Amen. So what does this say to us in the book of Matthew chapter 11? Let's see what verse 20, 20 to 30 says to us. Then he began to rebuke the cities in which most of his mighty works had been done because yes. they did not repent. He was rebuking them because they did not repent. What does he say? Woe to you. Woe to you. Horizon. Yes. Woe to you. Woe to you. Bethsaida. Bethsaida. For if you might... Maybe might God will say today, woe to the world, because they don't do what God wanted now. If it can be refined to them, what do you think God will be refined to us about now? We let things that we should be talking about, what you be doing, and doing otherwise. What does he say, sir? For if the mighty works which For were if, done... If the mighty world have done now... In you and be done in terror. If it had been done in terror and see them, and see them, they will have repented. They long will ago. have repented long ago. In they and didn't artists. see wonders and miracles I perform. They didn't hear the teachings I give unto you now. Maybe they wouldn't have been perished. I said something for them. But I said to you. But I said unto you, it will be more tolerable. It for will terror. be more tolerable that day for terror. And see them. And see them. In the day of judgment. In the day of judgment, because they didn't hear. They didn't, they didn't hear what I'm saying now. Than you, for you. They will be considered more better than you now that is hearing me. Better than me that is speaking now. Even the last day, God didn't find me in the ways he has spoken. In the letters he has given. Teaching he has given. He said, I will prefer those that didn't hear it then. Maybe that was why he said, my word will go around the world. No city will be there without my word. You are hearing it now. The heaven is the place where God dwells. And eternity is what heaven, what happens, you know, in heaven. And you, Kapanam? Eternity is where, is what will happen in heaven that we are talking about. As in the heart. Eternity happens in the in heaven. You know, an endless life will happen in heaven. It's like in the world we are in now, if you are in America, you say in America, there is light always. <laughs> in my country, in Nigeria, <laughs> you can, you can, you cannot, in fact, in Somalia, you can have light in the afternoon, yeah. but night, you don't, they don't give you light. But in heaven, when you get to heaven, you have life, endless life. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say for that? Are you Capernaum? Are you Capernaum? Who are exalted to heaven? You are exalted to heaven. We be brought down to it. You shall be brought down. For if, if the because man... I have lifted you to heaven by teaching you what heaven wanted. But if you don't follow it now, you shall be brought down. For if the mighty works which were done in you have if, been done If the them. mighty works that have been done here, you know, with you, if I have done this, I have done in Sidon. 
it will have remained. It will have remained in this day. Fire would have destroyed them. There would have been judgment over them. It's just a but I say to you, well, I say to you that it shall be more tolerable. It for shall the be land more of tolerable for the land of no Sodom in the day of judgment. In than the for day you. of judgment, than you. It is better you don't hear, I don't hear about heaven and eternity. You don't know the difference between the two than knowing it and just ignore everything about it. It is not about the letters, it's not about thinking about it, preaching about talking about it, it's about understanding what heaven is and eternity is. Eternity is a place where, you know, life continues. No, but you don't die, you don't die, you know, in eternity like it's happened here. That is what he's saying. In heaven, it's a place where you don't die. So endless life, you know, appears in heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. What does he say? At, the, at that time, at that time, Jesus answered and said, Jesus answered and said, I thank you. I thank you, Father. Father. Father, Lord of heaven. Yes. And her. Yes. That you have eaten these things. You have eaten all these things. From the wise and prudent. From the wise and the Bila people. And have noble people. And I've revealed them to babies. And you are revealing to people like me. <coughs> Even so, like you that is here in me, God is revealing what we need to do now. I mean, to know now. Even so, heaven is a place where God dwells. And what happens where God dwells is endless life, eternity. Hallelujah. What does he say for that? Even so, Even so Father, Father, but so it will seem good in your sight. If it is so good in your sight, all, the, all things have been delivered to my to me. All that have been <laughs> delivered unto me by my father. By my father. And no one knows the son. And no one knows the son. Except the father. Except the father. Nor does anyone know the father. Or does anyone know the father? Except the son. Except the son and the one that come from him. And the word that and the one. Yes, to whom the son wills to reveal him, and to who the sons want to reveal this to, and I'm glad that God revealed it to me now. He spoke to me about what I'm saying now. He says, <clears throat> "Who can know the Father except the Son that come from the Father?" And when Jesus Christ, we believe He came, He says something that we cannot ignore too. So what does he say in the book of Matthew chapter 6? Let's say from verse 5 to, to 10. What does he say, sir? That is where I want us to do that. He says, who will know the Father except the Son that came from Father? When, well, what does that Son now say to us when he came here? What does he say, sir? And, uh, and when... You pray. When you pray. You shall not be like the hypocrites. You shall not be like hypocrites. For they love to see. Thank God for Holy Spirit among us that is ready to teach us, to express, to explain things to us that will not be like those Baba who doesn't know what they are saying about the mind of God towards men. What does he say, sir? For they love to pray standing in the synagogue. They love to pray standing in the synagogue. And on the corners of the street. On the corners of the street. That they may be seen by That them. they may be seen by everyone. Assuredly, I say to, to them. say to them that people of God. They have their Children reward. of God. Servant of God. They have their reward. They speak in a very high tone. But I said they have their reward. But you. But you. When you pray. When you pray. Go into your room. Go into your room. And when you have shut your and door. And when you have not shut your door. Pray to your father. Pray to your father. Who is in the secret place. Oh, Yes. And your father who sees in secret, yes, will reward you. Will reward you openly. And then this happened, they will tell something for me. They ask him a question. And when you pray, and when you pray, go to the, 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 the next verse. Okay. Uh, the next verse is that one. Maybe. Yes. Verse no, nine? after yeah. that one. After that one. Yes. That's, and when you after I say, and when you pray, yes, do not use feel repetition. At the, at the, the next one, the next one. Never. Therefore, do, Therefore not, do not be like them. Do not be like them. For your father knows the things you have need of before you ask him. Yes. In the manner, therefore, pray, our father in heaven, hallowed be your name, 
your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That's where I'm going, sir. They asked Jesus Christ, their master, teach us how to pray. And he said, if we want to pray, say, our father, who is at heaven, that will make us to believe that it's a language of that environment then. That Jesus Christ, if Jesus Christ called that place heaven, let's say it is the word they spoke together at that region that made them to come about heaven. Jesus Christ didn't call heaven another place. If we believe in whatever Jesus that says to us, I know my father, I come from him. You cannot know him better than me. If you call that place heaven, then let us take it as heaven as it has been written. Like I said, heaven means different things to all of us in our languages. But it's a place where God dwells. Why eternity is what happened in that place of God. Ecclesiastes chapter, chapter 3. Let's see what verse 9 to 12 says. What does he say to us? What profit are the worker are the worker from the that in which he, do, he labors? Yes. I have seen the God given tax which, with which son, the sons of men I've are seen, to be occupied. I have seen what God has done for men to occupy. He has made everything beautiful. He has made everything in his time. beautiful in his time. Also, there is time for everything. Also, he has put eternity in their hearts. He has put in eternity to our heart. Except that no one can find out the work that God has done. Except God no one can find work that God has done. From beginning to end. From the beginning to the end. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says everything he has done from and the beginning to eternity. And they will be open to us one day because there's going to be a time for us to see the endless time. Hallelujah. Amen. And we are still going to see some things that will happen. In eternity, we are talking about. What does he say for that, sir? In the book of Matthew, chapter 7, let's see what verse 13 and 14 says quickly. We are talking about heaven and eternity. Heaven is the place of God. He enter by the narrow gate. He enter by the narrow gate. For wide is the gate and broad is the way that leads the, to destruction. The broad way is the one that leads to destruction. And there are many. And there are many who go in by it. Who go in by it? Be, because narrow is the gate and uh, because is narrow the way. is the gate and difficult, and is, difficult the way, is the way which lead to life. As a matter of fact, all we need to be talking about now is what we need to do to enter into that place of God. <laughs> and there are few who find it. It doesn't matter where God dwells. Let us do our own thing, our own bid, so that we can be part of where God dwells. Hallelujah. Mm. Broadway. Narrow way. There are characters that go to the narrow way that we enter into the kingdom of God, into heaven where God dwells, into eternity where there will be no death. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 16, sir. Let's see what verse 19 to 26 says. There was a certain rich man. There was a certain rich man. Who was clothed in a purple He was and fine clothed in in the fine linen, purple, you know, you know, you know garment, oh my God. And fear some, some, some He had everything to himself. Support, uh, support Mr. every day. He, he enjoyed life every day. But there was a certain There was a name, certain man. A beggar name. A beggar name. Lazarus, yes. Full of souls. Uh -huh. Who was laid at his gate. Yes. Desiring to be fed with the crumb. He desire his desire is to be fed by the crumb. Which he doesn't want to come to his table to eat. Which fell from the rich man's table. And whatever table. is falling from the rich man's table. Moreover, Moreover, the dogs came. And the dog of this rich man will come. And lick his sores. That is when they will lose the dog. And we had you know, maybe last week uh, somebody died. Because they didn't look after their dog. Yeah, you, I mean, mm. Hallelujah. Mm. He purposely would just lose that dog. 
in order for that god dog to bite this man not to have rest to eat you no know, for from the from, from the underneath the table where there are crumbs then so the boat it was that the beggar died yes and was carried by the angels to abraham's bosom uh -huh. the rich man also died uh -huh. and was buried uh -huh. And the being in torment, yes, in hate, yes, he lifted up his eyes uh -huh. and saw Abraham uh -huh. afar off, uh -huh. and Lazarus in his bosom. Yes. Then he cried and said, He cried and said, Father Abraham, Father Abraham, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. And said Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger. Don't in forget water. that they are both in heaven. The company, the the, the city of God is heaven. Hell is there. And, you know, the kingdom of peace is there. <laughs> Hallelujah. Mm. So it's, it depends on what you do here and do here that we choose where we will end our journey. Hallelujah. You know, the earth we are in now, uh, there are valley, there are sea, there are water, there are fire. Same in heaven. Hallelujah. There will be kingdom of God there. There will be kingdom of hell. Whatever we do here, we give us the you know the the where we will end our journey together. They both found ourselves somewhere, and when he got there, he found himself in heaven where there is fire, Amen. torment. Because heaven is a place of Christ. When we say the earth is for us, in that earth that is for us, there are places for the English. We are Americans, we are the Asians, the Africans, we have our own boundary. And the, uh, what does Abraham say? He says something to him. Mm. He made him to know that there's boundary here. What does he say? Then his father Abraham had mercy on me uh -huh. and said Lazarus that he may dip the tip of his finger uh -huh. in water uh -huh. and cool my tongue. Yes. For I am tormented in this place. Uh -huh. But Abraham said, Abraham said, Son, Son, remember that in your lifetime, remember in your lifetime, you receive your good things. You enjoy life, your good things. And likewise, Lazarus. You didn't remember that there will be end one day. Mm. You really you didn't know that it's going to be an endless place one day. Hallelujah. You can die here. You might not be, you might not be up to 20 years that you die. You might be 70 years before you die. But in in heaven, eternity we are talking about, they don't die. They don't die there. That is why it's dangerous. If you are in fire, you will not die. If you are in a cool environment, you will not die. He says something to him. Likewise, that's how he votes. Yes. But now, but now, he is comforted. He is comforted. And you are tormented. And you are tormented in heaven. There's tormented place. There's an enjoyment place. And, be, and beside all this, and beside all this, between us, within us, and you there. And you there. There is a great. There is a barrier. God fixed. There is a God fixed. So that those who want to. These are the things we need to know about where God dwells. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. Thank God for the preaching. These are the things we need to know about that heaven that we are talking about and eternity. There will be a place of torment as eternity. And there's going to be a place of enjoyment as eternity. In the same heavenly home of God. So that those who want to pass from there. That those yeah. who want to pass from us to, to you, you cannot. Or from you to us cannot. No, can those who from there. You, pass can't, to you us. cannot buy it. That I cannot buy it. I cannot pay for it. I can, oh my God. Oh my God. The enforcement in heaven cannot buy. <laughs> we cannot bypass it that day. That is what he said to us that we need to understand. What heaven is bringing our way. So let's see what Psalm 121. Let's see what verse 1 and 2 says. Psalm 121. Okay. I will lift up, I my, will eyes lift up my eyes unto the hill. From whence we believe any time you hear that the hill is where God dwells. Where is God? When every one of us, we lift our eyes to him, he dwells in heaven. I will lift up my eyes unto the hill. Where dwells my help? 
What else is for that? From where comes my help? Yes. My help comes from the Lord. My help comes from the Lord. Who made heaven and earth? Who makes heaven and earth? He makes heaven and earth, heaven for himself, earth for us to dwell. Hallelujah. No confusion. Holy Spirit around to teach us what he wanted from us. He wants us to follow the words to the part of that kingdom that he's talking about. Other than, you know, arguing over statements that Holy Ghost is around to teach us to know. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So John chapter 14. Let's see what verse 1 to 6 is. This is just what I was, was talking here. What does Let not your heart be troubled. Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God. You believe in God. Believe also in me. Believe also in me. In my father's house. In my father's house. Are many mansions. Jesus Christ said, in my father's house. Now, he didn't say heaven. So for us to know that, yes, there are things that happen in heaven too, as we have on earth here. There are kingdoms here on earth too. There are homes here on earth. There are mansions in I me mean, here on earth. See, in my father's house, there are many mansions. Yes, sir. What does he say? If it were not so, if it were not so, I will have told. I will have told you. I go to prepare a place. I for go you. to prepare a place for you. And that's I, supposed to be our argument now. That Jesus Christ said He has got to prepare a place for us. And if I go and prepare, if a place I go you, to prepare for you. I will come again. I will come again. And receive you to my place. And I will receive you to my place. That where I am. That where I am. There you may be also. There you may be also. And where I go. And where I go. You know. You know. And the way you know. And the way you know. Because I have taught you. I have spoken to you about the place. And we have shot about the place. I told you there is a kingdom in heaven. Where my father dwells in heaven. I have told you. But what does he say to Thomas him? Thomas said to him. Thomas now said to him, Lord, Lord, we do not know where, we do not you, know are where going, you are going. And how can we, how know, can the we know the way? Jesus said to him. He said to him, I am the way. I am the way. The truth. I am the truth. And the life. And the life. No one comes. Whatever I say to you, nobody comes to the no, Father. No one comes to the Father. Yes. Except to me. Except to what I have said to you now. If you want to come through Moses now, he fed. If you want to come through Abraham, he fed. He lived by the grace. If you want to come by the truth of Elijah, he fed. You want to call about Muhammad, he fed. You want to call, mention anyone. He said, but I have not fed because I didn't do anything against the law and order of my father. What he want us to do in honor here. Hallelujah. That was why I said, my way is different to other, other people's way. Mm. And the apostle said, let us kill them like Elijah did. He said, no, 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 no. That is not the mind of God to kill. It's in the love that thou shalt not kill. Hallelujah. Mm. Is there any leader, any religion today that is giving room for all that we are saying here? Heaven does not want it. There will be no eternity for such people. Mm. The eternity will be in hell fire. The eternity we are talking about here, that it is not that this, this place where God dwells, is that the, it has endless place. Situation there will become endless. Time there, there will be no one o'clock, two o'clock there. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So what does he say? The, 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 finish that place. You finish. Let's, what, let's see what John 3 from verse 16 to 21 says. For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. That he gave his only begotten son. That he gave his only begotten son. That whoever believes, that in, whoever him, believes in him. Should not perish but have eternal life. Will not perish life. but have eternal life. life. Eternal life. For God did not Eternal say, life. That's eternal death. <laughs> Hallelujah. So that you will have eternal life because there's going to be eternal death and eternal life. Hallelujah. Go ahead, sir. 
For God did not send his son to, into the world to he condemn He did not the send his son to the world to condemn anybody, but rather he came to teach but man. That the world through him might be saved. That the world might understand, might be saved through him. He who believes. What I'm saying is so glad to bring the understanding that the Holy Spirit gave to me about this question that somebody asked me. That kingdom of God is in heaven. Eternity is in heaven where God lives. And God lives in heaven. He who believes in me, he that believes in him, is not condemned. Is not condemned. But he who does not believe, but he that, do, that does not believe in the condemned. teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ, to believe in whatever he has said, that person is condemned to already. death already. Because, he has died already. Because he has not believed. Because when you die in sin, you find yourself in hell eternity. Because he has not believed in the name of the only begotten. Because you have not believed in the only, he said, I am, I come from my father. And if you believe that I come from God, you should be able to believe in what I'm saying to you. And the moment you don't believe in what I'm saying to you, you will end in, in death. And Everlasting this, death. And this is the com condemnation. This is the condemnation. That the light has come into the that world. That the light has come to your darkness in the world. And men love darkness and, better than light. And lo at the end of it, men, you that is hearing me, I that is speaking, do you love light than darkness or darkness than light? Because they are Everything that evil. is not of God, that is evil, is darkness. That is why we have dark world. In our own time now, oh, that yeah. society, that marriages, that friendship, hallelujah. Even in the church of God now, sir, mm. there, in fact, there are some things that, that is coming to my ears. I say, what? People, so-called ministers of God, they are now comparing the Bible to the, to the, to the new generation that we find ourselves. Eh? They are saying, eh, do you know that eh, the, our own time is different is different to the time of the Bible? <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> and they are preaching. For everyone practicing evil hates the light. Everything that practices evil, they hate the light. If, if, if you give, if you are a minister of God, you give room for errors. You are, you are practicing darkness. No light in you. No light in your in your, your discussion. No light in your preaching. And does not come to the light. And somebody is wearing is wearing a rag. Coming to church doesn't cover himself or herself. And you say it's in their time. You didn't talk against it. You are walking in darkness. Let the this will be exposed. Let let the darkness be exposed by the light of the Lord, by the word of the Lord. But the who does the truth comes Somebody is coming for uh, coming for marriage. Uh, coming to the altar of the Lord. Uh, half naked. Uh, and you say it is their time. As a minister of God, you are walking in darkness. Eternity is about hell and the kingdom of God. Living long. Staying long. And joining something long, where what God dwells in heaven. That is not what God wants us to be talking about anyway. He wants us to be talking about our character that needed to be changed to the teaching of our Lord Jesus Christ. Don't close your eyes as a man of God, woman of God, to all that is error now. You leave you home with your child to the church. You didn't check what he's, he's wearing. He says they are time. You better be careful. I better be careful. But he, he, it is better you teach your child and he's not listening mm -hmm. than for you to close your eyes. God knows so. Jesus Christ said it, it will be better for Sodom that day because he didn't hear. To those that had, why don't you leave the judgment of you and God to your son, your daughter, who will not listen, than you to fold your arms and never say anything and let it, now the whole thing turn against you at the last day. Sir, so, because of our time, mm -hmm. if you want to be prayed for, 
I hand you over to the hands of the Holy Spirit. May God bless you. May he pray for you. Pray for Peter. Um, devil did they have him. May that God bless your soul. Amen. You know, as you know, explain more of his word to us. Amen. Open our eyes more to see him. Amen. That this word that is perishing will not take us away. Amen. By the power in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Heaven and eternity. Heaven is a place where God dwells, and eternity is what happened in where God dwells. Have you given your life to Jesus Christ? If you have not done so, I do tell people what it is, is to you know, bring yourself into the teaching of the Lord, what he gave to us. You cannot say, I surrender my life to Jesus Christ, and you forsake everything they want us to do. You won't enjoy him. I won't enjoy him. If Jesus started, by the same time next week shall appear, by the power in the name of Jesus Christ, because we cannot do it by ourselves, except by his will. Hallelujah. What are we talking about today? Where does God stay while he created heaven and earth? He's in heaven. He only came to the earth to manifest some things that he wants us to enjoy here and now. Till we come back again next week, for me and for the man of God, I say God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Hello, everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. And my name is Prophet Stephen Larolotu from International Christian Association. Please join me every Thursday between 2 and 3 o'clock you know, to hear what God is having for us at this time, the message of the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ the second time. This message is very needful at this time to prepare for the coming back of our Lord Jesus Christ. It's very essential, very important. That yes, you tell somebody to come and join you as you come. Don't come alone because it is very, very special and necessary. You shall be well with you as you do so in the power of our Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you.